Oh my, things are starting out fast down here at Holliver. Welcome back, guys, to Boats vs. Holliver. Remain a machine, take on Mother Nature down at Holliver Inlet, Miami, Florida. And today, our crew, well, they've had some bad luck, and they've lost power right as they were trying to enter the mouth of the inlet. Fortunately, we have this guy here on the paddleboard who quickly paddled over to them, actually climbed right onto the boat, and is using his paddle as best as he can to try and keep them off the rocks. That's one heck of a good Samaritan right there. I mean, he literally just jumped into action onto some stranger's boat. But the good news for this crew is Ball Harbor Police Department and several other authorities have all reacted extremely quickly to responding to this incident. Now our crews dropped an anchor, again, not a bad thing, trying to keep the bow of the boat off the rocks if they can, but just adding to the complexity of everything going on. And of course, because the anchor's holding the bow off, our guy on the paddle was trying to hold the stern off. But here goes our crew trying to pass the line over to Ball Harbor Police Department, and they have it. But one of the issues now that they had the anchor there is it appears to be stuck in the rocks, and this crew can't get it to release. But this is one of the reasons why you should always have a knife of some kind on your boat, because you never know when an emergency situation is going to arise where you're going to need to cut a line quickly, kind of like this situation right here. Ball Harbor's ready to tow, but they can't do anything until they get that line free. Now that we have a tow line securely over to the Ball Harbor vessel, our paddleboarder decides it's time for him to go ahead and bail out, and he's going to try and paddle his way out. Again, kind of a dangerous situation for him as well, as he put himself pretty close to the rocks right here, but he is able to get up on the board and get himself back out of the way. But once again, you can see all the people who've responded to the incident. Now, it doesn't take long for this crew to realize that they're going to have to give this anchor up. Right now, they've been trying and tugging at it, trying to get it free from the rocks, but the reality is your boat's taking a pounding right here. Your $50, $100, even $200 anchor is not worth it. Let it go, let the line go, and let this crew pull you off of these rocks. Here we can see the moment where our crew finally decides it's time to let it go. They do pull a knife out and wind up cutting the line. And just like that, Ball Harbor is able to get them off the rocks and start pulling them out of the mouth of the inlet. Now, of course, they got to assess every situation. And the assessment here is not necessarily the safest move for the Ball Harbor Police Department to try and pull this boat back in. So their main priority is going to be to pull the boat to safety, which is off the rocks, back out of the mouth of Hullover Inlet, and back out into open water where this vessel can safely float while it awaits a professional tow company to come in and actually complete the tow correctly and safely back into the harbor. And of course, here we can see when Sea Tow finally arrives on the scene and Ball Harbor is gonna release their tow line and go ahead and let the pros finish the job. Special thanks to the Ball Harbor Police Department and all the authorities who responded to the incident. Due to their quick actions, no injuries were reported in this incident and our crew is gonna live to fight another day. But unfortunately for this crew, they are gonna take a loss and for one of the second weeks in a row, we've got a total knockout in the first round and Hallover is gonna take the win in this episode. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boat who does a bunch of great things down at the inlet. My channel Broncos Guru, we do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.